Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Look at this weather. I am not dressed for this weather. When I left the house, it was sunny. I thought that this video would be really fun. I'm going to talk about the high maintenance things I do to be low maintenance. Whenever I see this on like TikTok and stuff like that, I just love it. So these are the things that I do that might take a little bit of time to get done or might be an investment. They make my life so easy. I always feel put together somewhat. And I think quite a lot of us will do the majority of these things or some of these things but see when you pair them all together i just feel like i've got a foolproof plan a life plan the vibes the first thing we're doing is we're going to house enough i'm going to go and get my nails done i have been getting biab for years i used to be an acrylic girly i cannot believe that i used to wear acrylics because biab is incredible if you've not if, i don't know why you wouldn't have but if you've not tried it you need to this is my natural nails natural nail length i'm going to get them taken down slightly today and we're actually going to get a slight design on them which is nice but biab keeps my nails so healthy i have never lost a nail since getting biab i used to lose acrylic nails all the time the time as well that acrylics would take i you know i would never get a fresh set whereas biab you could get a fresh set every time if you wanted because it just comes off like a gel polish this color that i've got at the moment is just the biab color that i get uh, i really like it i like how pale it is I like how it's not too pink. I'm just going to pay my parking because I'll forget otherwise. This is going to be a kind of vloggy style video. And we're going to do most of these things, but I'm going to talk about some stuff as well that I've not filmed because I didn't. But I'm going to be chatting about some other bits as well. And yeah, by the end of this week, I'm going to be feeling super fresh and super fly. Hello, phase two of high maintenance to be low maintenance. This is my double whammy day. So it's Sunday, I have a little brunch date with the girls, so I want to look presentable, but it's also my self-care day, so I need to do that at the same time. I am going to style my hair, my hair needs washed, but this is gonna be like a treatment for my hair at the same time. I've been on a little journey with my hair since having a baby. Obviously postpartum hair loss, that stopped and now we're in the regrowth phase. But my scalp's also just been really weird. Like I can see some flakiness and it's just not the vibe. But my hair is also never been so long and I do think it's because I've been taking care of my scalp. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my serum. This is Actin Acre. I go between the two serums. So there's a stem cell regrowth one, which is what I used around my hairline and see all this. All the regrowth is unbelievable. I've actually ran out of that one, but I do have the microbiome cooling. This is amazing for people that just have more kind of like scalp issues. This is the microbiome cooling scalp serum. So see if you've got an irritated scalp, flaky, like I can actually see flakes on my lap. My scalp never used to be like this, but I can manage it really easily with this once a week routine. And the reason I have to say this is high maintenance below main maintenance is because obviously it's quite an amount of product I'm gonna use, but it makes such a difference and I only wash my hair once a week. I do this all day and then I'm gonna wash it tonight and then we're gonna style it tomorrow and that'll last me all week. I feel like that's quite low maintenance. I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna give it a little massage. It kind of smells a bit minty, but it is like instant relief. My scalp's not too bad just now, just because I do this routine, but when it's feeling really irritated, this makes a big difference. Don't know if they recommend this, but I do it and it works great. I'm gonna take the, like this is nearly finished, but I do have a backup. This is the cold press scalp detox. This is like an oil, like a really oily oil. And I shake that all over my scalp and I make sure and get like the nape of my neck as well. Since my undercut's grown out, I almost like neglect that bit of my scalp because I'm so used to it just not being there. Like no hair to look after. So I shake this, I get right around my hairline and it's got like a nice needle nose so you can just put it in and sh shake out the product. These, these products are so amazing. They are on the pricier side but they last ages especially if you're not using them too frequently. Another one I love as well is the Scalp Renew but because I'm doing this today I don't need to use that. I almost like alternate and I'll go in and give that a good rub in. But this is very oily, you can see. So you really only want to do this if it's hair wash day or just before you wash it. And I'm just gonna brush that right through. This has got really, really firm bristles, so it's kind of like a head 
scratcher at the same time. Okay, my scalp feels really good and saturated. Now I'm gonna take my Davines Oil Oil and I'm gonna take tons of that. This is a travel size one. I don't know why I've got this, but this oil, I've used it for years and I'm just gonna cake the ends of my hair in it. And then when I wash my hair, I'll show you what I use, but I love a clarifying shampoo, something that's gonna really clean all this oil out my hair and give my scalp another reset. And then I condition, but I only condition the ends. Now to make my hair look styled and not just greasy, I take the Sam McKnight Self Control. This stuff is the best. This is like a styling gel. I get plenty of that. And then I'm just gonna run that underneath and on top of my hair. This is just to give it some nice hold so it doesn't look crazy postpartum hair growth. And I go back in with my brush and we're gonna do a ponytail and then we're gonna pleat it. Right, I'm gonna take my GHD little backcombing brush. I'm gonna take more of that gel. Do you see these little spikies? They're untamable. So I take quite a lot of gel and just get the front. You can take this just to smooth. But see, once this sets, it doesn't move, but it doesn't feel really gross and crunchy. And then it's up to you whether you care or not about underneath. I usually don't, but just because I'm going out. I've also got regrowth because I do actually still give myself a slight undercut just at the sides and if you want a really sleek pleat just take some of that gel and put it through the ends as well and actually I really like wearing my hair like this especially see with just like light makeup and a pair of hoop earrings I feel quite presentable and my scalp feels so good I can feel the cooling I can feel the hydration of the oil nice right right I need to go wash my hands and then we're gonna do makeup this next portion of the video is sponsored by cult beauty I work with cult beauty all the time I have a discount code I'll put on the screen but you can use that code to get up to 20% off on cult Um, there's some brand exclusions but I am going to use Vive which you can use the discount code on. And also actually all the hair stuff that I just used, you can use the code on as well. Cult are talking a lot at the moment about makeup that is infused with skincare and Vive has plenty of that. So I'm gonna start with Skin Nova. The makeup I'm gonna do, the high maintenance to low, be low maintenance, it's three products that will make you look brighter and better that it takes minutes. So the reason that I think this, this is like my high maintenance <laughs> to be low maintenance is because these are three products you can just have in your handbag. Putting that effort in, I feel like you could say is high maintenance, but it's something that I would definitely do every single day. So I'm gonna take Skin Nova first and we're gonna put that on. Depending on how much time you've got to get ready, take your time to bring that down the neck and just get everything moving. See, when I take the time to just give myself a little bit of a facial massage. I notice a big difference in the puffiness of my face. It's actually something that I do morning and night because otherwise I just feel like I hold quite a lot of water retention in my face, especially around my chin. No matter what I do, no matter how much I work out or how much weight I lose, I always have a double chin. You're meant to be kind to yourself, blah, blah, blah. But it is something that really bothers me. So I think that doing this in the mornings, even if it only helps a little bit, makes me feel much better. Ingredients in here, obviously this is our primer, but we recently did a bunch of tests. We put it through trials and this primer hydrates skin by 202%. So it is unbelievable. It's definitely like almost more skincare than makeup. I use it every single morning, whether I'm doing makeup or not. And after 48 hours, your skin moisturization levels are still boosted by 30%. So it's a product that works over time and instantly. Next, I'm gonna go in with Modern Radiance Concealer. This concealer is such a multitasker. It's also infused with hyaluronic acid. So again, really, really hydrating, but the finish, what makes it really special to me, it's not a super glowy concealer. It's gonna slide around everywhere. It's a really modern radiant finish that really lasts amazing on the skin. It's up to you. You can either mix it with Skin Nova and then put it on like a BB cream, but I really like to use it concentrated on my face first and then just buff it out. Now I'm gonna just put it on the areas that I've got a bit of redness, any blemishes, and then I just love to take it under the outer corner of my eye to slightly brighten there as well. I'm gonna use the 117 brush, blend that out. It's got really good coverage, so you can go really full coverage with this if you need, but if your skin's feeling great and you don't feel like you need too much coverage, it goes a long way, but the finish, it really doesn't look like makeup when you wear it like this. It just looks really fresh which is so good for 
a makeup look like this because you'll see by the end of it it's not a crazy amount of makeup I'm wearing at all it's just a spruce up I've started doing this whether if I'm going to appointments that I usually wouldn't wear makeup at like my hair or my nails I actually had this makeup on when I got my nails done which are so cute little lilac tips I feel like I've accidentally gone quite Easter with my nails and then I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush just to buff that concealer under my eyes and really pat it out but what it's done is just made my skin look much more uniform and even and with that nice prep we're looking nice and glowy and fresh don't worry as well see if you get a bit of redness when you do the massage it's just everything moving everything getting going or it'll settle in two minutes so the skin just looks a bit more perfected I can still absolutely see my skin through what I've done I can still see all my freckles and I suppose little bits of redness and stuff but it just looks much more uniform and it feels like I've got hardly anything on my face which is so nice. Next we're going to take Sunset Blush Balm. This is infused with vitamins C and E. It's so nice and hydrating and juicy on the cheeks. I use the shade Piazza nearly every day. I'm going to use Cherub instead today just for a little bit more pinky and you can apply this any way you like you can use a sponge you can use your fingers you can literally just take a little bit and pat it out but i love to use a brush so i take my highlight and bronze brush and i just think it gives a kind of wider area of application which for this makeup look looks really good it's nothing too intense and it just works its way into the skin and it's so subtle when you wear it like this but it definitely adds a bit of youthfulness and freshness how good i can't not i'm just gonna use piazza as well I've also seen people mixing their shades to create custom shades, which I suppose is kind of what I'm doing just now by applying them on top of each other, but this product, I just think the difference is amazing. And it took two seconds. All right, it's up to you whether you want to add lip liner or mascara or even like an eyeliner, but that is it. And I really like it. I might add a tiny touch of mascara. I'm gonna use modern mascara. This mascara is phenomenal. Obviously I made it, so I would say that, right? This is infused with castor seed oil which is so lovely for nourishing lashes when you're wearing it. So especially if you're wearing mascara every day, why not have your formula be something that's gonna care for your lashes? I'm not gonna wear a ton. I just want to do a light coat and this mascara does not smudge, but at the end of the day, it comes off with warm water. So you can wear it all day with confidence. And then when you're taking it off at night, it just melts away, which means no trauma to your lashes by like scrubbing it off. All of these things just really help with your lash health. And that's it. I feel like this is so fresh and gorgeous. I'm feeling very pleased with myself because I know that my scalp is loving this. My skin's loving this. And then at the end of the day, when I have my everything bath, wash all my hair, I'm going to be feeling like 11 out of 10. I'll flash my code up on the screen again. I love working with Cult Beauty, obviously. I'll list everything that I used as well down below, hair and makeup. But that is three for three. Nails, hair, makeup. And I'll see you very shortly for the next high maintenance thing. Also, high maintenance is fine if it's you that's maintaining it. So I'll say to Ashcroft, say that, fully believe it. washed my hair last night this is my hack I did a really good wash I feel like all I do is wash my hair on Instagram so I didn't film it but I'll link my kind of latest routine it's really working it's really good uh, I do kind of ch change it out sometimes if my scalp needs it I'll use like a dandruff shampoo again it's very humbling but um it really works so if you need it just use it but I did a nice mask on the ends of my hair and then I'm gonna style my hair one time and it's gonna last me all week. I love a big kind of bouncy blow dry vibe but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm literally gonna take my soft curl tongue, this is like the wee skinny one, and I'm just gonna put a kind of loose wave in my hair. See just like that, it just makes it look more uniform. It's not a million miles away from my natural hair texture and I'm just gonna go all in the same direction and I always wear my hair down for a couple of days then I'll maybe wear it up for a couple of days or half up, half down. And then I'll start doing like a bun. And then towards the end, I'll do the slip ponytail with a pleat. But I literally go down. I've filmed this loads of times as well before. But you curl and then you drop down, 
curl, you don't leave it for too long and you just end up with a nice like uniform waves. But this is tried and tested for me going to the gym and stuff. My strength training I do, I don't sweat doing it, which is really great because it means I don't need to worry about my hair. I can almost wear my hair down to the gym. And then I don't really do cardio apart from walking, which is another hack. So I'm just gonna fire around my hair, curl away from my face, and I'll keep this in because I'm chatting and hopefully you'll see what I'm doing. I remember I learned how to do this just by watching my hairdresser do it, by watching Jack. And my little undercut is, look, it's long, but I just curl it as well. It's a bit of a lazy girl hack because I just let my hair air dry overnight, which I know people say is not great for your hair, but trying to blow dry my hair at night is not great for my hair, it's not great for my mind. But this takes the absolute least amount of time I can fly through my whole head in how long. So I've been filming for four minutes, but I was fanning about at the start. It takes me no longer than 10 minutes to do this. I'm gonna take my Davines oil, oil and just put it through the very ends <laughs> and brush it out with my fingers. Healthy, healthy hair. And that'll last me all week. Okay, the next thing is nutrition. Not really even nutrition, it's like my vitamins and supplements. So the reason that I say the time maintenance is because there are a few different aspects to this, but some of these things I've done for a long time, some of them are newer, okay? First thing is my green juice. I've been drinking green juice for years. It's not shop bought, it's lovingly made by my parents. I tell them all the time they need to make it and bottle it and sell it because it's the best green juice ever. They've got one of the fancy juicers that presses the juice in a way so you, you get all the nutrients. And when I say it's green juice, it is green juice. There's one apple in like two huge vats of green juice, so it's not very sweet. I couldn't even tell you what's in it. I've written the list before, so I'll, I'll put it on the screen what's all in this, but this is so good. <laughs> for you and it's so good for me i love it so much i have this in the morning and at least i know that i'm getting a big hit of green goodness it does take quite a while to make uh, my mom and dad make it once a week and we kind of like share the produce that we get i feel the difference when i don't have it my diet is pretty good um it's pretty healthy pretty balanced but one thing that i probably don't have enough of is vegetables fruit i eat quite a lot of but vegetables and this absolutely makes up for a lot of that oh my god we all love it the next thing is my vitamins so when you look into your vitamins and you, and you kind of like go down the rabbit hole of what you need and you could easily buy like 10 different supplements and take them all but i was terrible whenever i have more than like two tablets to take i'll not do it because it's too much of a faff opening up all the jars i got served an advert for heights i think that's how they first came up to me but i kept on getting these ads for it so i went on the website I was looking for vitamins anyway. Very smart. If you need a sale advertised to me, I had a look at the website and I was really impressed by the ingredients in the vitamins, but also like the delivery system. I have both of them. So it's like a monthly payment. I think I pay about £69 a month. So it's expensive, but see if you're buying all these separate components, it would be more expensive. Also, it's just two. So I've got the biotic, which you take one of a day and then you've got this one here which i actually don't even know what they call this but it's like the multivitamin i think this is more for like cognitive function and a whole other bunch of stuff so i take two of these a day one of these a day in the morning with a glass of water that's it don't need to wait before or after food because that also will put me off doing it i've been taking these for nearly three months i feel like maybe i made quite a difference to my lifestyle all at once so when it comes to like what is really making a difference it's either these or exercising or what else I I've, not, I've not been drinking as much i have maybe like a half bottle of wine a week i really do think that these have made a huge difference not only to my gut but to my sleep jack weirdly has been saying to me lately my face no i'm quite pale which we're gonna fix in a bit but jack said to me the other day you look really tanned and i'm like there's no way that i look tanned because i've not done anything i've not been out in the sunshine i, I don't do sunbeds or anything so i was like there's no way but then i wondered i was like i don't know whether maybe there's an ingredient in these hair's great but again i'm looking after my hair sleep is amazing i also have talked about this a bunch of times but i couldn't breathe through my nose for a long time so it would cause me to snore and i just wasn't sleeping very well i don't snore anymore i don't know what that's down to maybe it's my mouth guard who knows 
But anyway, these tablets I think are brilliant and I'm going to keep on taking them. Another thing that I've been doing is the Athletic Greens. So Athletic Greens is the powder that you can shake up. Sometimes I will put that in my green juice. I don't do it consistently though, but what I do do consistently is take this vitamin D and D3 and K2 liquid food supplement. It's like a pretty tasteless oil and I just do this. It says one drop, but it's like, you can do whatever you like, so I just use a little bit six drops, put it under my tongue, let it chill, and I swallow it. It doesn't taste like anything, it tastes like a little bit oily maybe, but that's it. So that's my morning routine. I've already taken my tablets. It's one of the, it's like the first thing I do in the morning is have my tablets and a big glass of water when I get up with Romy or when I wake up. And then green juice, I probably have this like five days a week, just because we run out and it takes ages. And it is actually, it's got more expensive to make this because of just the price of produce and stuff. But that is, I feel like a high maintenance routine because it's really nice stuff, but it's easy. I have it in the morning and then that's it, but I have seen huge benefits to the way I feel. Sign me up, love it. Hello. I accidentally dressed up like Mia Goth in the movie X today. The next thing I want to talk about is my steps. My kind of fitness journey and things like that has been on and off through the years, but uh, I'm back, I'm dedicated, and I'm really excited about it. So I've mentioned I do PT with Amy, Body by Amy. I do strength training, I do that twice a week. The biggest thing that's changed since having Romy is how active I am just around the house in general. I'm convinced that that is what has led me to get back to my weight pre-baby. Also, I'm stronger than I was before. Getting steps in when I'm working from home is actually not as easy because I don't walk, really. I go out for walks with Romy and the dogs, but I don't do 10,000 steps a day, so I bought a walking pad. I'm about to go on a meeting for two hours with my team, so it's a two hour meeting that it's just like back to back, loads of my team I chat to. I would just sit, obviously, and, and have that meeting. So I thought if I get a standing desk, I'm not sitting on my bum, but if I get a walking pad, I can easily get 10,000 steps in. So what I do is I take my Apple Watch, put it around my ankle, and I walk while I'm on Zoom. My team don't mind the walking pads. I don't put them off or anything, I don't think. It is so much better. I got a walking pad that has a slight incline, which makes it more difficult. So it's just, it's just better steps. I only got it a few weeks ago, and one of those weeks I was on my period and it was rough as anything. So I didn't force myself to do anything I don't want to, but I really like it. I got my, to my 10,000 steps yesterday, easy peasy. I was only on it for an hour and I got the rest of my steps around the house. I feel like if you're watching TV at night, sometimes I do it at night time and watch TV on my laptop. But if I've got meetings, like Zoom meetings, or if I'm editing, or if I'm doing my emails, I will stand and walk and do them instead. This is like the cardio that I do. Other cardio I don't get on with. I don't like running. Yeah, it's just not for me. So this situation is brilliant. If you work from home, it's brilliant. If you work in an office and you're in the office full time and you just cannot fit your steps in. I think that if we lived somewhere sunny, I would definitely try and get outside and walk more. And if I can get outside and walk, I will do that. But it's not realistic or achievable, especially in winter, especially when it's rainy, rainy Scottish weather. And especially when I'm busy all day. So this is perfect. I also mentioned earlier on in the video that I have a healthy diet and then I said I've got a balanced diet. The balanced part is high up on my scale. I don't do, I don't stop myself eating anything. If I want something, I'll have it. I'm conscious about what I eat because when I eat things that are nutritious, it makes me feel rubbish. I don't deprive myself of anything. I also said I have a balanced diet and then quickly went on to say I have half a bottle of wine a week. Um, So balanced for sure. For example, Jack made us bacon sandwiches this morning, loved it. My lunch today was apple cheese and crisps, which is what I have a lot. Uh, I had that a lot when I was younger and I love it still. But I do a good job to try and get protein in. We also have a gusto for dinner, which is nice and balanced. Plenty of fresh fruit and veg, my green juice, etc. So balanced means balanced. Doesn't mean that I only feed myself rabbit food. <laughs> Can you guess who that is? Automatically playing in the car. Madame Rachel. The last time you saw me, I wouldn't have looked this tanned. This is one of my hacks. It's my face tanner. So the U-Tan CBD Tanning Mist. It is the most incredible product for giving you a glow to your skin. It has made me look tanned and fresh. And let me tell you, I feel far from that today. It's the last day of work before Easter, which you would think would have like a Friday feeling about it. No, it is like 
it's like trying to get finished before Christmas or something but I feel like I actually do look quite fresh and it's because of my face tanner so the difference in the colour of my skin the tan is nuts so that's number five number six we're on our way to right now I'm going to one of my best pals Cara's house Cara does my eyebrows for me and I get my eyebrows laminated. I haven't done this in a really long time but I start, I got it done again um, and it just makes brows so easy to manage. Don't get me wrong, you have to have great brow product as well to make them look great when you do your makeup but for ease, if you've got stubborn eyebrows like me, like I've got eyebrow hairs that grow down the way and don't refuse to go up no matter what I use on them. It's just really good so Cara's going to do my eyebrows for me. Right now we're going to go and get that done. The daddy's on the bus say I love you. The before. And we're eco-friendly. Oh, look at those manageable hairs. Cool. <laughs> Stunning. Gorgeous. I just love it. Hello, I've got a wee sad teething baby here. She's never upset and she's not even crying a lot. She's just got these little tears falling down her face. It's the saddest thing in the world, but I really want to finish this video. My brows, I've got spot, ignore that. But my brows are looking great, Cara is so good. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to talk about, which is not gonna be for everyone, but that's okay. Otherwise the world would be a very boring place. Um, and we'll talk about Botox. So for two reasons, aesthetically, I love Botox for giving me a brow lift. Um, that's the amount of movement I've got just now. Actually, the last time I got top ups, I got a little bit more than I usually get. I think from having like the year and a half off when I was pregnant and breastfeeding, I thought this might be completely wrong, but I feel like maybe I got more strength in my jaw and my face. So anyway, I love Botox. It lasts your like three months. There's other types of Botox on the market now that, that last longer, but I did try it and I liked it, but I prefer just normal Botox. I've mentioned it before. Well, actually, I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but I get Botox in my jaw and my masseter because I am a really bad teeth grinder, clencher, whatever. Uh, I do it when I'm sleeping most of the time, but I actually just do it during the day too. Uh, what that brings is huge masseter muscles, which not only changes the shape of your face, it can make you look really puffy. I think you can tell in some of my older videos when I've not had it done or it's not worked properly that um, my jaw just looks so big and this looks really puffy here. But my face is kind of slimmed down because of the Botox working. The reason that the Botox has worked so well in my masseter muscles this time is because I've paired it with a night guard which is like this retainer that again I've talked about before but it's a retainer that has a big plastic block which stops you from biting down on the back of your teeth. So instead I kind of bite down more on the front. It changes the game. It is so much better. Granny and granddaddy here. Dogs are gonna go nuts. We've got a visitor. Poor wee baby, I swear. It'll be back. We'll wrap this up. Okay, I'm back. So the Botox for me, it just makes my makeup sit great. I love the, the kind of like awakeness it gives my appearance, especially since this. And it's something that when you don't, I didn't have it for that year and a half, I noticed the difference, obviously, but getting it back, I just feel so much fresher with it. And then getting it in my jaw, honestly, if anyone's got the same kind of clenching jaw issues, if you've got TMJ or you get those kind of chronic headaches, those really sore migraines from clenching your teeth, the Botox in your masseters is game changing. But if you are just too strong, look into a night guard because that combination, I was never good at wearing my retainer. That's why I'm, I'm going back to get more dental work and stuff done. But because it makes such a difference, I wear my night guard every night, every night. I don't spit it out. I can sleep really comfortably with it. And in the morning, I just feel completely different because that achiness and that agony jaw is just not there anymore. It's, it's I still clench on the front, but there, I think my dentist, Jamie, was saying that you can only clench your front teeth at like 30% of the strength than you can with your back teeth, a sweet tiny baby. So that guys is all the high maintenance things I do to be low maintenance. Because once I do that, I just don't need to think about it. Let me know if you guys have any of these types of things, because I'm always looking to add to the list. I love a routine, I love a ritual, and I love doing stuff that makes me feel good. It's taken me a week to film this video, hence why my hair is back in this style. Um, I'll link everything that I mentioned or talked about 
down below. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. You guys say bye bye. You wave. I'm going to go and cuddle this baby for the rest of the day. Bye. Here. It's also infused with high, 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 high. Oh, you're brave running in this way, I think. Wouldn't be me. It's not put down. <laughs>